you stop. You're gonna get me canceled. Good morning and welcome to the first time I've actually been able to go out and ride and have fun with some friends in a very long time. Um, I'm actually waiting for my friend Missy. I'm gonna show you her and her bike and where we're riding today, but I just wanted to look, like I wanna point this out. My boots, oh my gosh, look. These things. Oh, these are my favorite boots, but they are getting so worn out. But yeah, so having my coffee currently just north of Orlando and we're heading over to, I think, west of Ocala State Forest, National Forest State Park. I don't remember. It's going to be a beautiful ride. So let's finish my coffee, hop on the bike and go hang out. All right. We're over here with Missy's Moto. You can actually check her out on Instagram. This is her Instagram name, but she's on her beautiful Lowrider S and we're going to go look for a nice little lakeside place to get lunch because what else do you do in Florida? So I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you, I, I haven't been doing anything here in Florida. I've really just been living. Um, I've been thinking of a lot of big picture plans for myself and my business. And the last thing I've really been doing is riding, especially to film. I have been riding, but it's mostly just been um, small things to film here and there. And it's something that is already really starting to stress me out because we're leaving here soon. Like we're leaving in uh, mid-March. I am going to the Forgotten Angels camp out. If you guys would like to come to the camp out, I will have information linked down in the description, but we're going to be over at the Forgotten Angels camp out. This is Jordan's very first time. Um, I am going to be in Daytona bike week. So I'm just trying to catch you guys up because I haven't been doing that very well. So um, I am having a meet and greet with Blockhead Moto in Daytona Bike Week on Wednesday the 9th, I believe. Uh, maybe the 6th. I don't know what day it is. But I'll have that link down in the description as well. So if you guys are going to be in the Daytona area, please stop by the meet and greet. We're going to have just a fun time hanging out, chill, meet up with me, meet up with Blockhead, and do whatever you want to do. I just like today was the day where all I wanted to do was I wanted to go ride. I wanted to go meet up with my friend, relax, ride, film a video, hang out with you guys. I have not been hanging out with you nearly enough. I am still on the 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide, obviously, as you can tell. I've been very much enjoying this motorcycle and uh, I'm supposed to give it back to Harley Davidson <laughs> in Daytona. We'll see. We'll see if I can persuade Harley to let me have a long-term loaner. And if they say no, then I'm going to be real sad because I'm going to probably have to go home and uh, start selling feet pictures of my cat or something. Because, like, I, I want this bike. And as much as I hate the idea of selling Appa, I, I, I don't know if I can go back, man. It's... This is a beautiful motorcycle. Harley truly knocked it out of the park on this one. If I got a new bike, I don't know what I would name it. It would not be Oppa 2.0. That was just for fun for the videos. I, I don't, I don't want to do the same thing. Um, but it's, oh, it's so exciting thinking about like a new prospect, you know? If you guys have purchased these new 2024 models, please leave a comment. I want to know which one you got. I want to know what color you got. And I want to know what you named it or what you should name it. <laughs> I've been seeing everyone buying these, and I mean everyone. So I really hope there's inventory when I get back to Ohio. So we were actually planning on going over to, I think I told you, up north of Ocala National Forest, but um, we kind of hung out at the coffee shop for a bit too long today, just hanging out, talking about our dreams and aspirations and motorcycles. And the next thing we know, it's like, oh crap, it's already lunchtime. What are we going to eat? <laughs> So we're heading out over into Claremont, Florida. Sunglasses are fogging up. Heading over to Claremont and we're gonna try this new restaurant out. Um, Missy said she's been there before, but it was previous owner. So hopefully it's good. If I can just go hang out by the water, I'll be good. If I can see a gator, it's gonna be the best day of my life. So I'm pretty easy to please if I'm being honest. But as I was uh, mentioning my boots, I was just saying it in the beginning of this video, my boots are really kind of like old and worn out. And luckily for me, Jordan has to, uh, Jordan wants to get some new parts for the Sportster. And we're going to go head over to the JMP store in Daytona or Ormond Beach, technically, and check out some of the parts over there. And I might look into getting some new boots. I've put over, oh my gosh, maybe 40,000 miles 
on the boots that I'm wearing. I've had them for a couple years. I got them from Revzilla. They are, I think these are my TCX. I don't remember the name, but the best boots I've ever owned. But the thing that I'm a little tired of is I can't unzip them and take them off. So taking them off and on is a bit of a tedious process, especially if it's hot, you know, your feet are hot and you swell and they get stuck. It's kind of gross, but it happens. So I'm gonna go look into some new boots. And of course, Jordan wants to work on his Sportster again. He is so, my, Jordan's my husband, if you guys are new here. He's so conflicted about like what he wants to do with that bike. I don't want this to sound negative, but this snowboarding thing has not been anywhere near what I imagined it was going to be and it makes me very sad to say that but there's something about being away from your home your routine your belongings the, the things that have truly like I've worked so hard in my life to have and then just not having it within easy access is um it's been a challenge and my husband's feeling the same way I think he's having way worse of a time than I am he's very very not into the idea of being away from everything he loves um, but he loves me so that's why he's doing it but yeah we it's I don't know how to explain it but it's just um I thought I was going to be a lot more productive I thought I was going to be creative and travel and do all the things but then when you think of the finances of it like I'm paying so much money to live in a campground while paying a mortgage and all of my utility bills back up in Ohio that I don't want to go out and explore and do things in a different area because it is so ungodly expensive. Going out to eat is expensive. Grocery stores are expensive. Airbnbs are expensive. And I don't know. I, I thought I was going to be able to find like really cool places and travel, but I learned the hard way that you have to book campgrounds in Florida half a year in advance. And um, we did not do that. So we're learning. I don't know if this snowboarding thing is going to be for us every single year. I like that the option is there. I like that we get to do it. And the main reason that I'm in Florida is because I have friends here. I've said that many, many times. You know, I have a lot of my friends who live down here and they do ride motorcycles. So it's nice to be in an area where we can go meet up for coffee in the morning and go ride. So that was my goal. But it's we feel stuck and that's a not good thing to feel you know living in a tiny little camper for so many months like it's doable i'm fine with it jordan's not fine with it so it's it's been hard to try to enjoy what we're doing and again i'm not complaining i'm, I'm actually having a good time it's just i i know that he's ready to go home and i'm ready to start feeling motivated again all right so we just got to this little place called salt shack and i guess missy says that they have just recently redone the place and there's a lot of really cute new areas so we are actually right on the lake right behind us there's a little beach and then all the way out way back over there there's um outside seating i think you can put your feet in the sand stuff like that so i'm gonna see what kind of menu they got and how it is address up right here so you guys can check it out but I got their mahi fish tacos and the french fries probably the best damn french fries I've had in a very long time and the fish tacos were delicious but I think we're gonna hop back on the motorcycles and go enjoy some more beautiful Florida weather tomorrow Ooh, it's windy welcome to Daytona Beach today we are shopping <laughs> Have you done? <laughs> I just told the camera we were going shopping. Uh, You're putting those on the Sportster? Yes, it's the Florida Special. Oh my gosh, hold on. What did you buy? Uh, 
probably the nicest rear shocks that they'll ever go on the Sportster. Okay. Some Foxes. Yeah. Some handlebars. Okay. And some future project updates. So, Jordan and I have been in Florida now for two months, and uh, he just can't not not work on his motorcycle so head over to his channel see what he's doing on the sporty i'll show you guys some clips in this video as well but he's got his goodies now i gotta go get mine hi babe okay <laughs> this place is massive okay i have what i ordered right over here yeah, girl got some new boots. So these are the runaway boots from Street and Steel. I've never tried these before. If you guys don't know, my favorite boots are probably linked in the description, but these ones, these have a zipper. And I'm so excited to try these on. So the boots I currently have are waterproof and they, um, they have armor in the ankles, which I love, but when you have armor in the ankles, you can't usually get the zipper. So I'm going to show you guys my other boots. They're really, 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 <laughs> those things have been put through their paces. So it's been a long time coming, going for an upgrade and I'm really hoping these are the ones. So let's go ahead and try them on. Now they did not have these in store, so I ordered them online and they delivered directly to the store, which is really nice because I can try them on. And if I don't like them or if they don't fit, return in store. No way, these are waterproof. Oh, sweet. Okay. So they're definitely like, <laughs> like stiff. I feel like I could do like the Michael Jackson lean thing, but I really like how they have the ankle armor waterproof and they don't have as high of a heel definitely gonna take some breaking in but i don't know what do you guys think so i think this might be the biggest j p store i have ever been in i've only been in the one in sturgis as well so if you guys are in the daytona beach or ormond beach area here in florida definitely stop by j p check it out oh look heated gear I have certainly needed that on this trip. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? It is yet again the next day. I think I've been filming this video over like a week for you, but I finally got Jordan out riding with me. Honey, I think it's been a month since we have gone riding together. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan got some uh, parts that he installed on his Sportster, as I showed you early in this video. Huge shout out to JMP Cycles for hooking him up with those parts. They were much needed especially my poor husband um threw his back out like a month ago so he's like yeah on top of the sportster having a pretty hard lean and being a pretty rough bike to just ride in general he's like i think i need to start modifying it to be a bit more comfortable so that's where we got the parts from jmp and so this is kind of your first i mean you made a video by the way go watch his video over on his channel he took it out for a ride, kind of talked about his thoughts and opinions on the modifications as well as being here in Florida. But now that you're out riding and you're not really having to think about what you just did, how do uh, the suspension and the new handlebars feel? Well, the rear suspension is probably the nicest suspension I've ever put on this bike. <laughs> so already I can tell a huge difference just pulling out of the campground because it really does absorb bumps a lot better. So I'm really happy with that like that rear suspension is like game changing on this bike for me lifting the rear end back up i mean i never had a problem with like my back on like the scrambler style but uh that whole chopper lean i just can't do that lifestyle it's just too rough on the back i just don't trust anybody with a turn signal down here no i don't, I don't also, ever I, trust a turn signal i don't even trust the people down here with stop signs no I don't trust any drivers down here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really the bad. The one thing Florida has taught us is that you absolutely have to drive like an asshole to drive safely. It's so counterintuitive, but it's just, you gotta be aggressive. I got my new boots on, hell yeah. They're very stiff. I really need to break them in. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of feel like I'm shifting with a two by four right now because these boots are so stiff. I did not know 
they were waterproof. I also did not know they were actually in store. I looked online and I think I was looking at a different pair, not the ones I ended up ordering. So I ordered them online to deliver in store when they already had them in stock. <laughs> So with the handlebars, the steering response on the bike is like 10 times better because I had like the little mini like ram horns or whatever they are. Well, let's pull over here and show them. Yeah, I want to get a little close up of your bike. Yeah, I did not like the buck horns on that bike. I talked a little bit about in my video how I had tracker bars before and those mm -hmm. were lower than these, but they were like wider and I didn't like how wide they were. And these were yeah, like the perfect. Really wide. These were like the perfect combination of like height and narrowness. Where do you want me to pull how over? How tall do you? I don't care. Um, how tall do you think your risers are? Oh, my risers are four inches, um, and the handlebars oh. are eight. So I have like twelve inch handlebars. I wouldn't mind oh, going nice. up to like six inch risers to be honest, because I I was I was conservative about my cable length. And it turns out with how narrow they are, uh, I could go taller. Yeah, from where I'm sitting, your hands do look slightly lower than parallel with the bars, but you look comfortable. Yeah, and I can actually stand up pretty good with them too, which is like surprising. Yeah, go it's, right off into the sand right there. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> scrambler here, so. Oh my God. <laughs> off-road sportster it still is it's gordita here's a bump here here we go watch the sand it's fine <laughs> i got knobbies that's what i got 50 50s for i don't know where you want to go this is fine i just want to pull over and look at your bike <laughs> florida's taught me like a whole nother level of aggression driving down here because it's like we got stopped in traffic no one was moving for no reason so i just pulled off on the side of the road past six cars and turned i don't even know why they were stopped well, that's what I was just saying. I was like, people down here are just like oblivious and terrifying. Dude. Yeah, your bars, yeah, your bars look really good. Yeah. And I have them straight. Like I could clock them back if I need them to come back to me, but it's like perfect right now. So yeah, he got the, uh, these are Fox suspension, right? Yep. What are they? 13s? Yep. 13s. They look really new, well, like really good. Well, of course, me making everything myself, uh, my parts aren't interchangeable very well. So I tuck my exhaust in so close, this is actually as tall as I can go. Otherwise, the shock bolt will hit my muffler and my passenger peg is already rusting on the exhaust when I get it's off. literally touching it, yeah. Well, when I sit on it, it kind of creates a gap, but. Oh, and so does that beautiful baby in the back. Hey, pretty girl. I've determined that this bike is a girl. Oppa was a boy, but this one's a girl. She's too pretty. But I'm going to throw a leg over and see how your bars feel. Huh. Wow. That's so skinny. Yeah, that's what I like. Like, they're literally almost as wide as my foot pegs. Like, they're a lot more. I think, I think my tracker bars were like 31 and a half inches wide. These are like 29, I think. Or 29 and a half. So it's like a full two inches narrower. Personally, for me, the, the controls are clocked a little too far forward for my tiny hands. I'm a little taller, and it's good for me standing, too. Yeah. No, it feels really good. Gosh, it's so scary. The lean, I'm yeah. Like terrified, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about dropping the front end down a little bit just to level the bike out a little more, but... Because the front end is technically six inches raised. Ever stock. Jeez. Yeah. I got a lot of suspension travel in this. She says they're good for her knees. Well, the stiffer boots are supposed to hold your ankles a little better, so you're not relying so much on. Every time I come here, I look for the peacocks, and I haven't seen them. For oh, a while. I got some really pretty photos of the peacock last time I was here. I'll insert a photo right now. And a little butterfly. I'm raising a butterfly. Hi, butterfly. Oh, Coming up on goodbye. a family here. I know. There's a this rogue child. This is going to be a Ten funny points. speed bump. <laughs> Ten points for a little kid. <laughs> His dad's by. I waved and he didn't. He just looked at me weird and his dad's like, wave. Yeah, man, I need to get a taller windshield on this motorcycle because it is windy. 
I think we're just spoiled by Ohio roads. That's what it is. All the roads down here just feel like commuting roads. Well, it's just because there's so many people. Like, even if you do get on a nice country road, you're stuck behind some, like, 17 people doing 25 miles under the speed limit. So there's just no enjoyment down here. Well, somebody was asking me, they're like, maybe you should try a different area. And I was like, I honestly don't know what other areas are like. Like, I don't know if we go further south, if it's better, but I imagine yeah. that's like the swamp, so, swamp lands. Like, no, that's the Everglades. I don't want to go further south. If we stayed somewhere close to the coasts or up near Ocala, it, it is. It's nice. It's, it's more country, but it is still just so peopley. I mean, you saw, we drove from Daytona to Tampa. Oh yeah, you guys didn't see it. When we went to j &P to pick up our parts, we immediately left Daytona Beach and drove all the way over to Tampa to go hang out with Shade Tree Surgeon. Um, he, Shade Tree made a video, you can go over to his channel and check it out, but it was, it was still country roads, but packed full of people. So are you ready to go home to Ohio? Yeah. Yeah, Just, yeah in general. I miss the house and my garage i i do i miss my family and my belongings um and it's just pretty we live in a beautiful home we work so hard for all of our things and i thought for sure being a snowbird and riding motorcycles through the winter would fix everything in my life it didn't <laughs> i'm telling you if it were any hotter than what it already is i would be dying like i don't like the heat I i'd rather ride in 60 degrees every day than 80. I think I know where we are. I just don't actually know if I know how to get back. <laughs> how is your kidney belt doing? Uh, I think it's helping. It kind of feels like it gives me a little more like upper shoulder leverage. And I'm not having to flex as much, I feel like. Especially when I stand up, I don't feel yeah. it in my lower back. So tell the, tell the viewers like what, what you're trying uh, out so right now. So a buddy of mine back home, uh, he rides with a kidney belt on some longer rides and he suggested it. So I picked up a like Fox kidney belt for like 35 bucks. And uh, like when I first put it on, it just feels like it squeezes your stomach. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And a lot of my lower back pains comes from like my lower back like right at my pelvis but uh like i was looking up what the purpose of a kidney belt is and it's made to basically squeeze your stomach to allow you not to rely on your muscles as much and it's good for like an extent like you're not supposed to wear it all day and i don't plan to this is just you know like a 20 30 minute ride and it's fine then but if it prevents me from blowing out my back, I mean, that'd be great. Yeah, that's exactly what we're hoping for. Just making sure that you don't have more damage done on motorcycle rides than you care to have. I definitely think it's doing something. It's just, I think it's early or too early to say. Um, I definitely think I might wear it when I go adventure riding in Ohio, especially since when I go yeah. riding the dirt bike, it's usually, you know, an eight or 10 hour day. Um, I don't know where we are. I know I've been through here before, but I can't remember like how far we go. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze past you okay. and lead so that I might know where we're going. <laughs> That's a big mic, a big question mark. Actually, I do. I think we turn at this light. Yeah, dude. I am in Lewis and Clark or Lois and Clark. I don't even know what their names are. <laughs> pretty sure this is the road i was supposed to take yep. okay what's going yep. on here this is what what's yeah. going on welcome here welcome to florida <laughs> every time we leave the house we almost get hit i swear <laughs> I, I didn't even care i was just laughing i was like what's going on here i was like if i hit her right for like her. the first month and a half we were down here i didn't even want to leave the campground because i hated driving it's literally taken me probably two months just to become like desensitized to the terrible drivers down here I feel like we're gonna end up in a different state because I thought I knew where we were going. I mean, we're going west, maybe? I don't know. Hold on, I have a, a compass on my bike. Wow, that's that's savvy south. tech right there. <laughs> we're going south. There you go. I don't know where we're going. I might need to whip out the phone here soon because now, oh, nope, this is a dead end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Ah, uh, you know what? This It was the next light we were supposed to turn at. 
because this is the road we're supposed to go down. I knew I was close, but I wasn't. Okay, Lois and Clark. I know. <laughs> it's not even right. It's Lewis. Is it Lewis? I just wanted to make it. Lewis and Clark. Yeah. Stop trying to make me sound dumb. I'm already. And what was the Indian? Sas Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Is that name? Sa Sas Saska Saskawee Saskawee. I can't even pronounce it. You stop. You're gonna get me canceled. <laughs> I can't help that my. Lingual skills are so poor. Was it Sacagawea? I literally can't remember. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, now that I know we're going to get back home safely, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, like, and subscribe to the channel. It does wonders for the algorithm. And go check out my husband's channel. Once again, huge shout out to JMP Cycles for hooking us up with these awesome parts and having an amazing storefront right here in Central Florida on the coast, if you uh, are being specific. But until my next video, thanks for watching this one. You guys be good. And I'll see you later.